What up, watch peeps? Vario is a brand based out of Singapore. And in addition to just watches, they sell a lot of other cool accessories. And I don't mean just straps either. They have pillows for your watch box and all sorts of other cool stuff worth checking out. When it comes to watches, their thing seems to be picking watches or designs out of history and recreating them. My first experience with this brand was backing the uh, Empire on Kickstarter. That was like a 1920s, 30s Art Deco style piece. This time around, it is the 1918 Trench Watch. So let's get to it. I'm Pete and we are Chillin' With Watches. First check. I am wearing my Vostok Amphibian, the orange scuba doo today. Just got these white hands put on there and I think that looks pretty cool. Today we're looking at the Vario 1918 Trench Watch. Here's your warranty card. Looks like it comes with a one year warranty. It even came with a neat little handwritten note, which is always a nice touch. I love these watch pods that this one came in. These things are great. Any kind of reusable watch carry case is great, but these ones especially, these are really nice. And they even have a pocket for an extra strap or spring bars or whatever got your microfiber Vario cloth in here and there's the 1918 trench watch that is a pretty cool looking piece it's definitely different I man the first thing that strikes me is that it's small it's smaller than I expected I knew it was a 37 but it, it just prevent presents really small and I don't know if that's a side effect of the bun strap or what now these are enamel dials so they're kind of glossy but they're really nicely done. And I think they come in six different loom and color variants. And there's also seven different strap colors you can choose from too. So they come in both bund and single pass. So you can really mix and match a lot of different looks out of these. Now I think they're 292 on pre-order going up to 368 full price. I think I paid maybe just a little bit less than the pre-order price when I backed this thing on Kickstarter. So if you take a look at the case, it is this really cool kind of rounded almost, has that pocket watch kind of shape to it, which I think it's visually interesting and you know, rounded is always very comfortable. And oh, I think the protector is still on here. And they even managed to get this nice kind of polished transition going into the bezel. So it's not just a super plain rounded side case. And you'll see if you notice it does use real wire lugs. And we'll take this strap off at one point so you can see that. So you're going to be limited to um, single pass straps or like how these work. These are Chicago style screw straps you actually unscrew this and take this strap off. No spring bars. It has a little kind of mini onion crown and it is signed with the Vario V and these are screw down crowns as well, which <sighs> screw down crowns are nice, but they can sometimes be a little annoying on a hand winder. But I, I think they really nail the dial. Just a super clean white enamel. The Arabics use kind of that period correct font, which I think is really nice. Really cool railroad minute track. The cathedral handset is nice. And they did do it in black, which contrasts very nicely to the dial. And the Arabics are also outlined in black, except for that 12 there. I think that just makes for real nice consistency and high contrast. The sub dial is great, also done with a black second hand i do not like how it cuts into that six o'clock marker and i think i voted for maybe doing this watch in a millimeter or two larger so maybe you could avoid having to do that plus I, i'm pretty sure these trench watches you know they were i think of them as modded pocket watches so being a little bigger i think would have been fine the case back is pretty neat it is a like a laser etched soldier with the poppy flower Think kind of an image that was very popular back around this time of World War One. This suede strap is really quite soft. Top of the bund as well. 
It is they listed as crazy horse leather. I'm guessing that's the backing. This also feels really nice and soft. Um, I'm not exactly sure what crazy horse is, but it, you know, it feels quality. All in all, pretty cool, tidy little package. I definitely like to get it on some other straps. Maybe we'll take a look at how it looks on something different before the end of the video. But for now, let's throw this thing on the time grapher and see how it's running. This watch is running the Miyota 82S5 movement, and it looks like it's coming in at around 10, plus 10, maybe a little fast, not too bad. That amplitude of 243, I think a slightly lower amplitude is common to a hand-wound movement like this, which runs at 21.6. Relatively no beat error. I'm perfectly happy with this performance. And here you can see how the watch looks with the bun pad removed. Actually looks pretty cool. I kind of like that Chicago screw strap. But let's go over the dimensions of the case real quick. We're looking at a 37 millimeter case that is 45 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip or lug wire to lug wire. It came in at 12 millimeters thick and that is including that domed sapphire crystal that you can see there. And it does use 18 millimeter lugs. Going over some of the other specs, like we just mentioned, there's a double dome sapphire crystal with AR coating on the inside. It uses C3 loom, so that should be really nice. We'll take a look at that in a bit. It's running the Miyota 82S5 hand winder movement, and it actually has 100 meters of water resistance. On this strap with the bun pad still in place, this guy came in at about 70 grams. Let's take a look at it on wrist. And here you can see how it wears with the bun pad removed just on the strap. And like I said, I think it just wears maybe a little too small for me. It is comfortable, but I think this watch could benefit from a NATO strap or something that will add a little more bulk to it. So here you can see how those wire lugs look without a strap on there. And they are true wire lugs. And here's where I think this watch might look a little nicer on something like a NATO. This is probably how I would wear it. I, oops, I think this is even small enough that you can get away with a leather NATO. I think that is a pretty cool look there. It's definitely not hurt by the additional height of the NATO. And on a more traditional NATO, so probably be super comfortable. Actually, I really like this color combo. This color NATO looks great on white dials. Yeah, I'm really digging that. I think this is probably my favorite look of the bunch. Although it actually looked pretty good on the full on bun pad itself. Let's take a look at it side by side some other watches. So next to my 36 millimeter Explorer, and man, I get a ton of questions about this watch every time I post it. It's just a custom dial in a 36 millimeter Explorer case that you can get on eBay for like 50 bucks. You can see that white dial is larger and the case is only a millimeter bigger, but it kind of presents a little larger there. Definitely kind of different case shapes. Alongside the Cincinnati Watch Co. Captain that just came out. Again, kind of same effect. Um, this is a 36 millimeter watch. Kind of wears similar to that Explorer we just looked at. You can see that Captain's thinness. Of course, different case shapes. Lastly, alongside something a little bigger, let's go with the Alpinist, which is 39 and a half, I think. Well, these kind of have similar dial size openings, but the Alpinist has a little bit bulkier of a case. Lastly, let's take a look at that C3 Loom. Keep the loom. C3 is probably my favorite loom. It is always bright. It always lasts a long time. And I even like that kind of creamy look it has in daylight. <laughs> yeah, the loom on this thing is really good. That's pretty freaking awesome. Look at that glow around the minute hand. And here is how it looks on my seven and a quarter inch wrist on the bun strap.
So there it is guys, the Vario 1918 trench watch. If you're looking for something different to wear, something a little out of the norm, then this is definitely something you might consider. It's got a really handsome dial and it's actually quite comfortable to wear. All right, before I let you go, sneaker check. I'm wearing my blue Vans today and that's it. I'm out. If it's not too much trouble, like, subscribe, and come back next time. Peace.